Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will tell you the details of temperature in children. So the learning objectives for today's video are: first, I will show you how to measure the temperature from the various sites, axilla, oral, rectal, and the skin. After that, I will tell you the details of normal temperature, hypothermia, and the fever. And also, I will tell you difference between hyperpyrexia and the hyperthermia. Now, first, I am showing you. how to measure the axillary temperature so first step is you should dry the axillary area then you should shake the mercury thermometer in this way and then uh, put the tip of the thermometer into the apex of the axilla it should be in touch with the apex of the axilla and then uh, arm should be in touch with the chest and keep it at least for 3 minutes and after 3 minute remove it and check the temperature in mercury thermometer nowadays instead of mercury thermometer usually we are using the digital thermometer so in this video i am showing you digital thermometer when you press the button there is a beep sound it is a functional check for next 3 second it will show the last recorded temperature and again there will be a uh, beep sound that means it's ready to use now i am putting this thermometer into the apex of axilla of a newborn when it will record the temperature there will be again a beep sound that means temperature is recorded it is 101.5 now i am showing you steps of rectal temperature measurement it is prefer in less than 2 years and severe acute malnourished baby rectal thermometer is having the short and the bulbous tip and in this uh, we have to insert the thermometer up to the depth of 3 cm in term and 2 cm in preterm baby and keep it at least for 2 minutes now i am showing you how to measure the skin temperature by infrared technology we all are aware about this because during covid time we had used this technology it is without touch within few second we can record the temperature now i am showing you oral temperature measurement we have to put the thermometer under the tongue it should not be used in less than 6 year age group and we should keep the thermometer for 2 to 3 minutes now i am showing you the range of normal body temperature axillary temperature in neonate 36.5 to 37.5 degree centigrade is the normal range and in children uh, 36. 6 to 37.2 degree centigrade is the normal range of temperature there is a difference between oral axillary and the rectal temperature rectal temperature is the core temperature and it is the highest temperature and uh, difference between rectal and oral temperature is around 0.4 to 0.5 degree centigrade similarly in oral and axillary temperature again 0.4 to 0.5 degree centigrade difference is there now uh, when you will label the hypothermia in neonate we label mild hypothermia or cold stress when the temperature is between 36 to 36.4 degree centigrade moderate when the temperature is between 32 to 35.9 degree and severe when it is less than 32 degree centigrade and in severe acute malnourished baby we label the hypothermia when temperature is axillary temperature is less than 35 degree centigrade and severe hypothermia when it is less than 32 uh, and we label the fever when the axillary temperature is more than 37.5 and rectal temperature more than 38 degree centigrade and we label the mild grade when the axillary temperature is between 37.5 to 38.9 degree centigrade moderate 39 to 40 degree centigrade and high grade fever when the temperature is more than 40 degree centigrade and mild grade fever is basically beneficial and there is no discomfort moderate grade is beneficial but the child will have the discomfort high grade fever is basically harmful so for the moderate grade and the high grade fever we should use the antipyretic paracetamol preferably and uh, for the mild grade fever either tepid sponging or no role of antipyretic 
we label the hyperpyrexia when the axillary temperature is more than 41 degree centigrade and rectal temperature more than 41.5 degree centigrade and the difference between uh, hyperpyrexia and hyperthermia hyperpyrexia is basically because of severe infection in this the thermoregulatory center reset while in the hyperthermia it is because of exogenous heat exposure no resetting in the thermoregulatory center and there is a no role of antipyretic for the hyperthermia so this is all about temperature thank you